I have been a Hunter x Hunter fan since mid-2004, but I can say that the single number one issue that pisses me off the most in the fandom is when people start acting like they know Alaka's gender for canon. By the way, spoiler alert, obviously. Here's the thing. Yes, there are implications that seem to point in the direction of her having a difference between her real gender and her preferred gender. But this does, just because you can see that in the scenario does not necessarily mean that it's automatically canon. Yoshihiro Tagashi has never stated what Aluka's exact gender is, and he likely never will, because I think that the point he was trying to make was that ultimately her gender didn't matter. And if you've noticed by now, I've been using the pronoun her because the English language lacks such gender-neutral pronouns. And I'm only doing it because Kilua does it, which is good evidence for the fact that she may be a girl because Kilua seems to know her better than anyone. People point to the fact that her fam the rest of her family calls her he, but half the time they call her it. So obviously they don't care much about her in the first place. That's made abundantly clear that they don't even see her as a person. Why should they bother getting her gender pronoun right? People are just too eager to see some sort of transgender representation in media that they'll latch onto anything that even remotely looks at like it, and it pisses me off. Let's look at some facts. First of all, she's 11 or 12. It depends on what you're following. The manga is not exactly specific with character ages and timelines, but she's 11 or 12 years old. I guarantee you most 11 or 12 year olds don't even know what transgender really means, let alone if they made some sort of choice about their gender identity. And that's not even mentioning the fact that she grew up in complete isolation, basically in a, on top of a mountain, and for the latter half of her life, in a padded room, completely isolated from human, intera human interaction. Okay? But even more so than that, there are flashbacks to when she was five years old where there's still a disagreement between Kilua and her other family members as to what to call her. Her family still calls her he, Kilua calls her her. Are you telling me that... I just... I, I can't wrap my head around this. You... you cannot make decisions about your gender identity when you're five years old. That is not a thing that happens. Not in this universe or any other universe. If you think that a five-year-old is capable of understanding the concept of gender identity and making such a significant choice, you need to go outside and look at the world because I think you, I think you have a, you you need to know how people work. You're, you're grasping at straws here, and it it really shows. Furthermore, both present-day Alika and uh, flashback five-year-old Alika use the Japanese pronoun Atashi, which is a com which is a female pronoun that is used by females, particularly when they want to sound cute. Kilua, who knows her best in the world, calls her a female, so that's pretty strong evidence for why I personally believe that Alika is a female. But I'm not de I'm not going to declare that as canon. Just because there's more evidence pointing to it, that doesn't mean that it's necessarily canon. Because Tagashi, the author, has never claimed either way, and likely never will. Now a lot of people point to the Hunter x Hunter wiki, and say that they use the male pronoun, but if you look closely on that same article page, even they say that they have no idea, and they're just picking a pronoun out of convenience because the English lack- the English la <laughs> Unlike Japanese, the English language does not have a gender-neutral way to address people in third person. Aside from, you know, hey you, but that's not applicable in every sentence. This is the same thing that Funimation did with their dub of Soul Leader in the character of Krona, who also had an ambiguous gender that was never revealed. They went with he because male terms tend to be a bit more gender-neutral, technically speaking, and because they didn't have a choice, they had to pick something but even they admitted that they weren't declaring it as canon. Furthermore, you should never take a fan wiki as absolute truth of canon, because fan wikis are run and edited and manipulated by fans, and fans have a lot of wild, diverging opinions. Some of them are batshit crazy. I'm not saying that they can't be a viable source of some information, but take it with a grain of salt. And when it comes to a sensitive issue like this, 
you should not take a fan wiki as absolute evidence of canon. And I wouldn't even trust the Hunter Hunter wiki anyway. Have you? Did you see it before the reboot started airing? That place was a joke. It's better now, but I still don't trust its credibility all that much. But even they admit that's a moot. That's a moot point because even they admitted that they have no idea. If one day in the future Yoshihiro Tagashi comes out and announces, "Hey, Alaka is this or that," then that is canon, or if it is explicitly, and I mean explicitly stated in a manga chapter, and I don't just mean pronouns, I mean literally the sentence, Alaka is a blank. And there's even, there actually is, now that I think about it, there is a part in the manga where Kilua says point blank that Alaka is a girl. Yes, look closely, it's on chapter 324, page 14. He literally calls Goto an idiot for assuming that Alaka is a boy. Again, I'm not making an explicit statement, but I'm just saying there's a lot more evidence pointing in the female direction. So maybe that's what he meant. That, what's that's what Tagashi meant. But until he comes out and declares it himself, it's all open to whatever. And if you, if that's not good enough for you, and you, you know, then go write some fan fiction where Alaka is whatever gender you want her to be, and that's perfectly fine. But don't, don't go on forums and comment sections and Twitter and all this bullshit and start declaring that your, your view is the right view and it's canon. Okay? I sometimes make the assertion of my belief, but I always press if it, press if, I always say that it is, my views are not canon. I'm going on the evidence, and the evidence seems to point in one direction. But I could be wrong. But until Tagashi comes out and says that I'm wrong, or you're wrong, or something of that nature, then we don't know. And I doubt he will because I think that's the point he was making. Because I think the, you know, um, LGTB issues are a big thing for Tagashi, and I think, but that doesn't automatically mean that she's transgender. What I think he was getting at was that gender, her gender ultimately doesn't matter. And that it really doesn't, I mean, if you really look and you really read it, it doesn't really affect her character all that much. It doesn't really matter whether she's a boy or a girl, like, because if you, because she acts in such an ambiguous and androgynous way anyway, that it ultimately doesn't matter. Now, there are characterizations and situations where gender does matter. Let's not, let's not pretend like that's not a thing, but this is one example where I think it was purposely written so that it ultimately doesn't matter. I think that was the point he was making, but that subtlety just seems to fly right over people's heads. So yeah, I just wanted to rant about that because this is one of my biggest fandom um, triggers or fandom berserk buttons. It just infuriates me when people take their own fan theories and start splashing them around like they're, like they're, um, like they're canon, like they're canon fact. And, you know, like, I, I, especially when they don't even bother to put up evidence, or they have flimsy evidence like citing a fan wiki. You know, I've cited actual evidence, in my case, and I'm still willing to admit that I could be wrong. And that's a, that's a shit ton better than most. So, yeah. Subtlety flew right over their heads. This has just been my rant. It's been a while since I made one of these. Maybe I'll start make to make more of them. I don't know. Damn, it's hot in here. Alright, this has been my rant. Zeke Freak out.